Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taryn and we talk about all things finance related. That's anything from the zero based budget method, cash envelopes, fund savings challenges, anything that impacts our finances, whether that's good or not so good. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here, and let's get into today's cash stuffing. All right, let's just go ahead and take a peek at my wallet. I do have one receipt, which I will scan into Fetch Rewards and Receipt Hog. Um, these are back in stock. I know these were um, requested, so I did order more. You have that front big pocket, and then you have two individual pockets. I like to keep my little affirmation card there, but this is what I use to hold the receipts. Um, and then when I come home, I empty it out. So this was my personal spending money that I had in my wallet, and I'm going to keep it there. Um, I have not touched it, but it just kind of feels good to have it. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 3. Um, I don't know. I might take those ones for savings challenges, but I think for my wallet, that's fine. I don't need more on me. Dining out, I had put 21 $21. I'm going to leave that in there. I start working at the vote center. Today's my pre-check and well, today's Friday, so that's my pre-check. And then for like the next five days, I'll be a 12 hour shift each day. Um, so I don't know that I'll actually be dining out. Obviously I'm skipping yoga this weekend. Um, I don't know whether I will need that, but I figured in case I needed to run to like the liquor store or whatever and get a snack that that would be good to have on me. Um, but I plan on trying to make all of my meals because, you know, I've been hard on myself about eating out so much and this will kind of give me an opportunity to prepare my meals because I don't like leaving the boat center. I don't really take a lunch break. I just work the whole day. Today we're working with $1,840. Yeah, $1,845. Like, that's what I think it was. Uh, again, some of this does go to savings challenges. Um, so I won't be using all of it. But this is what I pulled because I just make one trip for all the stuff. So let's hop into my essentials binder. Oh, my God. I love my new dashboard. Every time I see it, it makes me so happy. Okay, so let's jump right to cash stuffing. So this is going to go to savings challenges now. Um, I don't think I touched it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. So 190, I'm going to put that in the back because that's going to go towards savings challenges. And then for this week, I'll just go ahead and add. Look at these ones. They were so crisp. 2, 3, 4, five oh my gosh they're so nice and then we did eight ones one two three four five six seven eight and then we're gonna do three tens and we also got some really nice tens she saw new ones in the drawer and she like had me swap out some of the ones that weren't so nice so this should be 75 so 10 20 30 40 50 65 and then we know, oh, so did I not do it right? That's five. 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70. What did I do wrong? It's only 70. Hold on, let me look at my, um, where my mouse went. Oh, there it is. 5, 8, 3, 5, 8, 3. That's what I normally do. Do I mess up every week? Or do I not know how to count, guys? Yeah, that's only 70, and I think I've been doing that every week because I looked at my other um, cash breakdowns, like the cash denomination breakdowns on my computer, and I don't even know. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going to give my husband his 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, I think that's right. Let's make sure. This might be one too many. Yeah. So I will take that one back. 
and then we'll add this to what he has. He has not touched it because, he, again, he had his um, bonus. So he's been working with that. So this is just building up again. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 30. Nice. When he gets his bonus, I don't touch it. I just leave it in his account. Um, and then that gives this an opportunity to build up. So that's it for our essentials. By the way, I did add two new designs for the cash breakdown teller slip. This is the old school one. I added it with a different font and then I added one with a diamond. Um, someone had requested that. So uh, these will be the new styles. Let's go into high priority. We're going to go directly to the home section. This binder has already been mostly stuffed for the month. So the only two categories that we really need are the water and trash. So those are each going to get 20. So now we have 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 293. Okay, and then for water, same thing. Add a 20. So now one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 220 dollars. And that is it for high priority. Now we're gonna hop into low priority. Um, let's see. We have to finish off what we didn't do for seasons. So we did 75 last week. Well, not this last week because I had to skip the cash stuffing. Y'all know if you watch my videos, but um, the time before that. So I'm going to do 75 and I just did two 20s, three 10s, and one 5. So this should be 75, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. And let's see. Um, I don't know. When does winter start? I haven't pulled any of this from fall. I don't even know when winter starts. If you know, tell me when does winter start. I'm just going to go ahead and add 20 to fall. Okay, so now fall has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 40, 50, 60, 260. Um, I don't know. We haven't... Oh, do I still have to pull from that? I don't know if I do. Not really, because I used Halloween money when we went to Horror Nights and when we went out to dinner, since I'll be um, at the vote center for Halloween. Um, Halloween looks different this year for us. So I'm going to do 35 for winter. Okay. Put this not so crisp here. Maybe that'll help flatten it out. Add this 10. Put this 5. So now winter... We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 175. And then I will just put back to the beginning. Spring will get 10. Summer will get 10. So spring has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I know I say this um, every so often, but I like separating this, the seasons because if I don't, now that has 30, um, I'll just use all of what is there for that one particular season. This way I feel a little bit like prepared for the upcoming season of just free spending money, right? Okay, so seasons. And we already did vacation this month. So kids clothing is getting 50. So I just did two 20s and a 10. So now they have 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28. So they have 328 now. Um, I'm not adding to this right now. Graduation, that is going to get 20. And I just did a $20 bill. So now we have 150, 170, 190, 210. Okay. 
and then deductibles is going to go ahead and get started finally and we just did a $50 bill. So this would be for deductibles for homeowners insurance, car insurance, any type of deductible that we might encounter should there be a reason to like file a claim. Um, let's see, wellness is going to get 20. So now we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's enough for me to buy another uh, five pack of classes, but I don't need to just yet. I've had to skip, <clears throat> forgive me, a couple weekends, still getting over being sick, but um, much better now. So let's see, my clothing is going to get 20 because I depleted mine and I shouldn't have, and I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to try to really save up. Um, so for his clothing, he's going to get 20 as well. He needs new boots. I told him just go ahead and order it and then we would pay for it. So 160, 75. He goes through at least one, maybe two, well, not usually, but one pair of boots a year, uh, in his job. Um, he just really goes through them. Um, so haircuts, I am going to go ahead and put a hundred since my appointment is next month in November need to get that started and this was a little design I made for myself um, like it's not necessarily listed in my shop but it's always something I can do and then I created this little makeup envelope too I thought that was fun um, I'm not adding anything to makeup just wanted to share that with you so the Riker seat is going to go ahead and get $200 today So now in the bank, we have 500. So that's in a high yield savings account, earning us interest. And then, so five, six, seven, fifty so far. I'm hoping that by um, the end of winter, we should have enough to be able to go get that second seat. I'm not adding to that yet. Tattoo, I figured we haven't added to it in a while and I haven't even set up my tracker. Um, like I have to reset this up. These are actually, this um, tattoo cut is hand-drawn by my daughter, and this is available in the shop. Um, I need to take new photos and remake those because I don't think those get the love that they deserve considering they are hand-drawn by my 16-year-old. So for our um, couple tattoo, because we're going to get matching tattoos, we have 165. We haven't decided on what we're doing, but it was his idea, which I thought was really romantic totally cute um but we will be discussing that but for now we gotta start saving so streaming is gonna go ahead and get five dollars so 70.85 i just signed up for a promotion for apple tv it's like free for the first three months or is it 99 cents i gotta check um because i haven't had that in a while i canceled it and they had a promotion i figured i would do that right now and then if anything comes up during black friday great um but that's what this is for. Any of those good deals, you know, I'm ready and prepared. Now we're into the holiday binder, um, which you all know. You all know this is my favorite. My favorite. Okay, so let's get into holidays. We're going to run through this um, fairly quick just because I do have to start work early today. Um, doing a little bit more of the online training for the Vote Center just because I always psych myself out and I just want to be super prepared. Um, so Valentine's Day and Easter for next year are fully funded. Um, Mother's Day is fully funded. We are going to go ahead and add 240 to Father's Day so that it can be fully funded. So we did 200 and 40. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300. So 300 has been the magic number for us for certain holidays. Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, things like that. Um, it's usually just for like a small gift and then enjoying a meal together, dining out, because you guys know we love to go to restaurants. I don't know if my husband's the fan that we are all... Um, I, I think he just goes <laughs> with us because that's what we're doing. But if it was like me and my girls, I think we would eat out for every meal. If I could, I would actually hire a private chef. Okay, moving right along. Fourth of July is going to go ahead and get 150. So I just did 150. So now we have 300, 
4th of July is usually either a $700 to $1,000 goal. It has been that way for years, and it started because we used to go to Big Bear every 4th of July. We have not done that in a while. My grandparents both passed away, their cabin was sold, so it's a little bit different for us, but I have not stopped saving that amount because I still want to eventually see if we can make it again. Uh, my uncle still has a house out there, um, but I have not been able to change what I want to say for 4th of July. Even if we wind up not needing it for 4th of July and we wind up using it for other summer activities, it's just what worked and I think that I'm not ready to reconcile that yet. Anniversary. That is going to get 150 as well because we didn't have to focus on the other earlier holidays in the year. I'm able to put a little bit more to other ones. So for our anniversary, we have 300, 400. Um, our anniversary is really important to us uh, just because it's really important for us to take time, just him and I. Okay, so let me take this out. I'm going to keep my sticker. But we are not fully funded for Halloween anymore. And we have not spent the whole 500 that I saved for Halloween. 500 because we're a household of five. It includes gas to getting wherever we're going to trick or treat or, you know, like for us driving to Halloween Horror Nights and also eating out. So we've used some to get costumes, but my husband and I didn't do costumes this year because I'm working the election and uh, I'm not dressing up. Neither is he. So it was just the girl's costume, plus we went to Horror Nights and we had dinner. So we still have money left over, but I'm not doing anything with it yet until I know. Because we may, after I get off of um, the election on Halloween, we may do a late dinner. And I'll use that money for that. But we haven't really like decided on anything just yet. So Thanksgiving is going to go ahead and get 80. So I just did... 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. Okay, so now we have 150, 70, 90, 210. Um, again, we don't have any plans for Thanksgiving, have no idea what we're doing. Um, I do have that week off from work. So if we don't use it necessarily for like Thanksgiving, meal right I'll just use it for that week that we're off and we might do something you that's the joy of all this you could do what you want with it uh, this just helps to organize it by holiday by category by priority and gives you the freedom to do that Christmas as per usual is going to go ahead and get it's 320 so 300 and 20 so in the bank, well, we had 2,500, but I've already started to shop a little bit. So I've purchased a few things. So this isn't necessarily accurate, but if we're talking about all that we've saved throughout the whole time, then yes, it's accurate. So let's go ahead and just keep it that way for now. So 2,500, right? 2,600, 2,700, 2,800, 2,900. You guys, we made it to 3,000. 3,150, 170, 190, uh, 200. So did I say 3,200? Was that right? I totally lost it in my brain because I was like um, cheering in my mind. Um, our goal is 3,500 and we're... We're almost there. November would just, I think, put us there. I don't even remember what amount I said. But I'm just so excited because we. this is one of those non-negotiable categories. Even if we had to go to like a bare bones budget and knock out a whole bunch of stuff, all of this would be gone. Christmas would stay. It's super important to me. And then for the last one, New Year's, it's going to go ahead and get a $50 bill. So now we have $140. I have absolutely no idea what we're doing for New Year's. But again, at least we'll have a little bit of like, um, you know, financial freedom and wiggle room, room to do that. Um, and then I need to start back up on birthdays. I mean, we've fully funded most of them, but it just feels weird not going in and touching them. Okay, so if this is correct, we have 70. Yeah, 70 is going to go towards um, the 52-week challenge, the bookmark challenge, and then just regular savings. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. You know what? 
I pulled that 75 for my personal spending. I just think I messed up on counting the fives for myself, maybe. So the 52 week is $43. 43, that's, I'm on week 43. The bookmark is $5. And then I'm supposed to have $22 yeah, that's where it is, guys. So it's have $22 for just regular savings. That would be 22. So one of these fives is supposed to go into my personal spending, and that's where it's gonna go. So basically everything did go well, um, or as you know, well as it could have gone, um, and I'm not mad about it. So this is gonna go to savings along with this. And that's it for today. That's all I have for you guys. Um, I appreciate you being here. Um, sticking through my videos, um, supporting my channel. Um, it really means a lot to me. Like you are quite literally helping contribute to my family financially, whether you're just here watching my videos, if you let those ads play even more, um, liking, commenting, if you purchase from my Etsy shop, I mean, all those things, it really helps and I really appreciate it. So if you haven't already, go ahead, give this video a like, uh, say hi in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.